Hello crypto boys and ghouls and welcome back to the channel Tales from the Cryptmancer where we feature content on play and earn games on the blockchain such as Splinterlands. And in today's video I just wanted to walk through what I believe to be a land bug that currently exists out there in land 1.5 and Splinterlands uh, just to make you the audience aware that it exists and if you're going through and possibly changing workers on a cleared or a work site that is being cleared these are things to be aware of now i don't have confirmation that this bug has been addressed or fixed at this point i can only speak to my existing experience and i'll walk you through kind of what has happened historically where i stand with the current bug issue and we'll try and replicate it here on this video live for you in real time so we can see kind of the behavior of what's happening so let me start and just go through the history here of, of what i've discovered with land and i'm not sure it looks to be both maybe a ui issue as well as a computational and um, card locking issue but basically uh, going through the history here if we go into the game um, I had a plot of land here, specifically a magical plot of land that I was trying to clear uh, in one of my tracks. Um, I had a originally put in a um, a not great, I would say, uh, clearing team for this particular piece of land. It's a magical common, so it takes 4.5 million production power to clear. And I had originally placed... Uh, five max level Pelicor conjurers on this plot of land. Now, about midway through the clearing of this plot of land, I um, actually swapped it out for a neutral clearing team that I was going to be deploying in this particular tract to kind of get through these magical plots faster, right? So what I did is uh, I had gone into here, I had went into manage, and I had dropped in and replaced uh, in the middle of the clearing, uh, basically the five Pelicor Conjurers with max level Almo. Looks like we got a Cornealis, uh, Grenadier, uh, Sandworm, and a um, Battering Ram. So it's a neutral team, had definitely much more production power, and it increased my uh, clearing time uh, to be much faster. Now, approximately about four days ago, uh, when I came back into the game, I had set an alarm for when this plot was set to clear based on the updated time frame. And it came back and the worksite said construction completed or worksite completed. So what I did is I went in here to the worksite and it had a, instead of a manage and a speed up button here, it had a uh, complete button. Now normally uh, I wouldn't think anything of it. I would just hit the complete button and move on. I hit the complete button and instead of it prompting for the grain costs for the work site, uh, basically it went from a completed status and it added basically a bunch of days onto the clearing time. I think it reset to like 15 days. Now this seemed odd to me because um, the options now presented to me uh, weren't your typical things. Like I would have expected to see, for example, um, something that basically listed you know, my research per hour, basically in a manage button. But what happened actually in the UI at that point in time was I had it, uh, I had a speed up and a cancel task uh, are my only options. And again, instead of being completed uh, here, it reset to, I believe it was like 15 days. So not really thinking too much about it. Uh, what I probably should have done is backed out of the screen or refreshed. Um, but I just hit cancel, right? And when I hit cancel at that point in time, it took me back to a blank and unmanaged plot. So completely reset everything. So instead of 15 days, it was completely empty. Everything was gone. So at that point in time, I had to then restart uh, the worksite clearing. You can see here, it's now at 11 days, five hours, and it's been about four days. Now I immediately created a support ticket with Splinterlands. Uh, they acknowledged it. Um, basically, the feedback thus far has been um, they understand that I've identified the issue, and I'll, I'll show you some of the data I've shared with them. But it looks like the developer, maybe if Arpatrod, is out on holiday here, so is not going to be able to address this or fix this anytime soon, which I understand. Um, developers need to take vacation. It's the holiday season. 
100% agree. Uh, it just kind of sucks for me because, well, instead of farming research uh, points on this plot of land for the last four days and moving this clearing team to be able to clear other plots, well, I'm just stuck in limbo here and uh, not in a good spot. But it is what it is, and hopefully we can get this uh, issue looked at by Spongebob Lands and addressed. Now, you might be saying, well, Tails, how do we know you're telling the truth? You could have just have misclicked and misread the screen and just be making all this up. Well, I can tell you that's not the case. So if we go into Peak Monsters here, you can see the original five Pelicor Conjurers I had uh, staked on that plot of land. Now, when I stake them on land, the behavior of the game seems to automatically lock the cards um, in a lock status at that point. You can see here, the good news is they're not on cooldown, which means I could theoretically still use them. You can see these other cards are also were on land and were locked, but now we're on cooldown as I uh, pull them off staking a land. You can see here they're set for a cooldown of a certain number of hours. So these cards were on that plot of land. They were locked. Uh, they weren't previously locked before I put them on land. And uh, they're, they're now sitting here waiting. So now what do we want to do here? Well, I want to I wanna show you, I guess, um, where, I mean, we're going to try this again. We're, we just got, for example, um, I just got a max supply runner gold foil neutral card and a max disintegrator gold foil neutral card. These have 2000 production power. And what I want to do is I would like to put these on some uh, magical plots of land that are clearing here and again increase the clearing time of another plot that's in the middle of clearing. So let's go ahead and go back to land. Let's find another um, plot of land here that we need to clear. And then what we can do is we can see what happens when we uh, take pull cards that are clearing off of land and also put the new cards on. What happens to the timer? What happens to the cards? And then what will happen is I'll, I can revisit this uh, again when the land plot clears and uh, see what the behavior is if the bug hasn't been identified or fixed at that point in time. So give me a second here and we'll pull up another plot of land. So we're going to go to plot 6-6, six, six, which is clearing. It's under construction for research. We can see here that the current clearing time is 114 days, which is a long time to clear. Let's go ahead and manage this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the two lowest cards that are clearing here. I'm going to go ahead and replace those. So we're going to replace the Wave Runner here, and it looks like the uh, Medusa. So let's go ahead and click the Wave Runner. Let's tag in the Supply Runner at 2,000 production points. Go ahead and click the Medusa. Tag in the Disintegrator here. And now it's going to increase my uh, DEC required looks like here um, by 18,740. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the DEC stake added here. Let's go 18,740 to go ahead and make sure we have the DEC we need. So we've staked that extra DEC to land. Okay, let's go ahead and go back here. Let's go ahead and add that supply runner, add that disintegrator here, and we should be good to go. We're going to save the changes. You can see here uh, the build rate goes from 1411 to 4966. Let's go ahead and confirm. And now we've gone from 114 days on the clearing estimate to. Well, it still sells 114 days, so that doesn't seem right. I'm going to try and refresh the browser here. It still says 114 days. Um, let's go ahead and back out. Maybe it's just a GUI issue. It still says 114 days here. Um, let's go ahead and back out. Let's go ahead and check my DEC requirements. Dark energy use, 4128, 638. 
Dark energy needed, 4128, 638. So we're good on the DEC. Let's go ahead and back out here. I'm going to totally uh, back out of land. And we're going to go ahead and go into land here. We're going to do a hard refresh on the page there. We're going to go into our tract. We're going to look at 6.6 six again. And we can see still here our building complete time is 114, even though we added essentially an extra 4,000 production points here. So if I go to manage, um, yeah, I don't know really what to say here. Um, the workers are staked to the land. We've added the DEC to the land. Um, and the timing did not change at all. Uh, this is a new behavior. It's uh, I'm not sure how to account for that. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and log out and log back in and see if that does anything. So we've logged out and logged back in. I'm going to land. I'm going to production. I'm going back into the plot here. Going into here, and it's still saying 114 days, which is weird because previously in land, um, when I had changed the workers, it did update the time here. Um, and now it's not updating the time. So basically, by changing your managing your workers, uh, it looks like in trying to increase the uh, clearing time is not functioning now. So it's just completely broken. So you add workers, you add DEC costs, and uh, nothing, nothing's changing here. Um, speed up. Do I have any time crystals? I don't even know if I have any time. I don't think I have any time crystals. Um, I want to see if I can reset this. No, I don't have any time crystals. So I can't even force it to re-update the timing here. Um, I'm going to, for the sake of this video, just for testing, uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy a time crystal. Now I know it's not effective to buy a time crystal for hundred DEC. You can buy it, you know, probably in the market here. I could probably buy it for cheaper. Let me just do that. Let me just check. Um, I definitely can buy it on the peer to peer side cheaper. Uh, let's see where time crystals. Let's go ahead uh, trade. I can get them for 0 0.078. Let's go ahead and buy one time crystal. And I just want to test the theory here with the audience to see if this does anything. So we purchased a time crystal. We're going to go back into land, um, go into production, go here. Go to our plot that's not updating. And you can still see here it says 114 days. So I go to speed up here. I'm going to use one time crystal. One time crystal is 10,000 production, right? Uh, so it's going to take this from 2233,000 to 2243,000 when I speed this up. Let's see what happens to the clearing time if it adjusts based on the new production power uh, within this plot of land. Let's go speed up. Now, look at that what happened. As soon as I applied the time crystal, now this plot of land is clearing in 18 days. It went from 114 days to 18 days when I applied the time crystal. If I hadn't applied the time crystal, it still would have been 114 days. So this is obviously a bug and an issue within Splinterlands, not just from a UI perspective, but from a card perspective and a backend data perspective. Um, 10,000, again, if I go to uh, speed up here, um, it actually was weird. Look at this. Uh, it went from 2.2 million from a 
production point perspective down to 644,000. So by using that time crystal, um, I, I lost 1.6 million production already, but yet my time completion is set to 18 days. So I basically gained 100 days of time, but I lost 1.6 million in production. So <clears throat> I think this is where the issue is, is because apparently there's a miscalculation here because when this worksite comes complete in 18 days, uh, it's not going to have enough production points to clear the land. And that's probably why before it showed me a timer, instead of basically asking for grain, it reset the timer. Because when you're changing your production midstream, it looks like what's happening is it's resetting or taking away all of the existing production you'd already put into the plot at that point in time. So I don't know what to tell you. I mean, something's not working. It's already affected uh, my one plot in this tract. Um, at the same time, I did the same type of uh, neutral change on my other tract with a whole another team there. I'm guessing I'm going to have the same problem there, and I can go and show you that team uh, so we can note it for history. So then when it becomes worksite cleared and we look to replicate the issue, we can see if we have the same issue there. Let me go ahead and bring that plot up for you so you can see that. Give me one second. All right, so we're in my other tract here. I'll show you the other plot of land that I edited midstream to add neutral clearing workers uh, as a team to. It's plot 14 here. If I look at here, it's set to clear in 19 days, 21 hours. If I go to manage, you can see here that the team, the neutral uh, cards that were added to this plot are this uh, Gargoyle Lion, War Chang, Tower Griffin, Cube, and Alvin Mystic, and that sped up the, the time here for, di for this particular plot of land. Um, and again, this is the same, same issue. You know, when I clear this land in about, let's say 20 days, you know, when I do click the worksite completed, what's gonna happen when I hit the complete button? Is it gonna completely reset um, all of these times here? Because if I look at this, you know, right now it's set for 1.1, uh, million production cleared out of the 4.5 million is that going to reset when I click that button because it miscalculated something and it took away production points or something I have no idea um, I just don't want to be in a situation where I have you know plots that are clearing that I'm expecting to free up cards and you know get online in production and then it just doesn't work it's all broken right so uh, just want to get this out as a PSA for any uh, land owners out there if you're using neutral production teams or if you're changing workers in the middle of clearing your plots be aware of this keep track of your land because um, there could be issues and errors with the data that's impacting you now again i've raised this issue with splinterland support four days ago my tickets on hold pending a developer to look at it in the meantime you know, if this issue is still ongoing and a bug, I just want to make sure that the Splinterlands community out there is aware of it. Uh, again, I guess I'd probably say don't change workers uh, on your land if you're clearing it because it'll probably make things worse instead of better until we get clarification on this particular issue. With that being said, again, I hope, hope this video was informational. Hopefully, um, it provides, I guess, some insight into an issue that appears to be happening on land. Hopefully we can get this fixed and uh, move forward. And uh, yeah, happy holidays to everyone. And until next time, keep stacking those stats.